all people, Christians, non-Christians, and even government of Kerala look at you for a peaceful solution. You talk about peace in Malangara repeatedly, especially in your apostolic visit to the American Archdiocese. How can this peace be possible? There is nothing impossible, especially when it comes to, uh, to church peace. I know there are hundreds of thousands of peace-loving people in Malankara who love to have peace in the church. And I know there are many people who, have, who are of goodwill towards that. And I believe it's my responsibility to look for peace in Malankara and to work for peace in Malankara. Peace means that everybody should be living and practicing their faith freely and without any problems and commotions. Peace means that when there is death in the family, the family should not be prevented from going to a cemetery and bury their loved one. Peace means when there is a wedding, people should be able to get together in the same church and celebrate. Now that peace happens when there is reconciliation. Like every divided community, the first step in peace is reconciliation. We need to have reconciliation in our church in Malankara. This reconciliation comes based on certain understandings. It doesn't happen just because I want peace and then I go and issue a decree saying now there is peace. No. There, are, there is uh, almost a century-old division uh, taking, happening in Melankara. And it will not be solved in just one declaration or, uh, or statement. Peace will come when there is agreement between the two divided sides. The patriarch is the spiritual head of both sides. The Patriarch is the spiritual father of all the believers, the faithful in Malankara. And the Patriarch would like to see peace among his children there. But it will, eventually it will be up to the children to get together, to sit together and to reconcile with each other, with the blessing of their father. My plan right now is to keep listening to the people, discussing the issues with our Catholicos, his Beatitude Mar Thomas, Basilius Thomas I, with our Synod in India. And then, when the time comes, when we feel it's the right time, we will initiate a process by which a committee will be sitting together to discuss what kind of peace and reconciliation we would like to see in Kerala. Now, we are mindful of the many attempts in the past and unfortunately did not succeed or succeeded for a certain time and then failed. We are mindful of that and we don't want to see the uh, reconciliation and unity of 1958 happen again because it only lived for a short time, less, yeah, about 10 years. We would like to see last, lasting peace. And for that, we should really come to a, a degree when there is trust in the middle, when there is uh, confidence, and when no side is afraid of the other. And to, do, to, arri to arrive at that, there are certain steps that have to be taken. For example, if there is a peace agreement, then all kinds of uh, court cases, lawsuits should be dropped. If there is peace agreement, then there should be... No parish should be forced to adopt something that a constitution or bylaw that that parish doesn't like. There should be law and order in the church. There should be respect for everybody. And everybody should be able to join the whole church. So peace and reconciliation doesn't necessarily mean uh, unification, like having one body, it can, also, it can also mean having two entities, two churches living together side by side uh, in peace and harmony, without fighting and without coercing one into the other. So when we talk about peace and reconciliation, we, take, we talk about having 
basically peaceful relationship, being able to uh, to participate together. Since there is going to be one faith, uh, anathemas will be removed, excommunication will be removed when there is peace then. Everybody can go to any church to celebrate with the others uh, in terms of times of uh, of, uh, of happiness and sorrow also. Now we are not discounting and excluding any scenario, but we are not going to force certain scenarios. Also, we'll keep that for the local synods to agree on, and we will bless that. But I will, we will not stop and we will not rest until we find some kind of, uh, of, of peaceful resolution to the division in Malankara.